In this video, nasa karugtong na tayo. We will answer number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. At ito ay galing pa rin sa ating classmate and cousin. Since gamit na gamit ito para sa mga magtitake ng college entrance test, yung mga civil service exam, or kung anong exam man yan na merong numerical reasoning. So anyway, bago ang lahat para sa mga first time pa sa channel ko, ito yung FB natin. At ito naman, yung Philippine Civil Service Review for All, ito yung FB group kung saan pwede kayong pumunta sa files ng grupong ito para ma-download nyo agad-agad yung mga libreng printable na reviewers. At ito naman yung iba pang mga FB groups na lagi nating tinatambayan at FB pages na posibleng makatulong sa inyo. Para sa gustong makakuha ng mga libreng printable na reviewers na hindi alam kung paano mag-download galing sa files ng mga FB groups, pwede kayong pumunta dito sa FB page na Lunalin Vlog. I-message nyo sa akin yung email nyo para isend ko sa inyo yung mga libreng printable na reviewers. Pakilagay lang kung anong anong reviewer ba gusto nyo yung AFSAT ba or yung civil service, pang civil service exam. So now dito na tayo sa number 3. Based on the given cube, what is the length of its edge in meters? Ito lang isang parte lang, isang mukha lang ni cube. So, sa isang mukha ni cube, pariho yung sides niyan. Ang area niya ay 72 meters squared. So, therefore, paano kunin yung area, length times width equals Yan na yung sagot, 72 kasi nandyan, given na yan siya. Si length at si width, pariho lang yan siya. So, sabihin nating side times side. So, side times side, and this is S squared. O, para klaro lang sa iba, ikip lang natin yung side times side. So, this is S squared equals 72. Square root natin ang both sides para S na lang ang matira. Now, S equals square root of 72. I-simplify natin yan by finding yung mismong perfect na may square natin. I-find natin yung fa i-factor out, bali natin yan siya. So, we have 36 times 2. Kasi si 36, ma-perfectly may square natin yan and that is 6. So, ang natitira na lang sa loob yung 2 square root of 2. So, ang sagot dito ay 6 square root of 2. Number 4. Which of the following radicals is the simplified form of 2 square root of 20 minus 3 square root of 45 plus square root of 5? Yung operations natin, meron tayong subtraction at addition. Kaya importanteng wag niyong kalimutan yung order of operations. Step number 4. Ano ba yung nasa step number 4 sa order of operations? Na ang addition and subtraction. Subtraction. They rank equally. Kaya we will solve them from left to right. Remember yung M- Thus, multiplication and division, they rank equally. Okay, we will solve them from left to right. Addition and subtraction, we will solve them from left to right, whichever comes first. Nauna si subtraction kay ni addition. Kaya unahin natin si subtraction. In other words, we solve natin ito from left to right. Next, do na tayo sa ating mga radicals. 2 square root of 20. Si 20, square root of 20, hanapan natin ng factors in such a way na isa sa factor nitong 20 ay ma-perfectly ma-square natin yan siya. Ang hint dito, nasa choices, pariho lahat silang square root of 5. Madali lang, si 20 divide mo ng 5. 20 divided by 5, and that is 4. So therefore, meron tayong 4 times 5. Square root of 4 equals 2. So, 2 times 2, square root of 5. Natitira pa rin si 5. 2 times 2, that is 4. So, 4 square root of 5. Next, 
yung operation natin na minus sign. Dito na tayo sa 3 square root of 45. Ang clue natin sa choices, lahat mayroong square root of 5. So, i-divide lang natin itong si 45 by 5 or hanapan natin ng mga factors si 45 isa sa way na meron tayong isa sa factor dyan na ma-perfectly square. So, square root of 45 divided by 5, that is 9. So, 9 times 5. Itong si square root of 9, 3 yan siya. So, itong 3, multiply mo sa isa pang 3, that is 9. Si square root of 5, kopyahin mo na lang dito, square root of 5. Next, operation na plus sign. Square root of 5. So, kopyahin mo lang yan siya, square root of 5. Yung mga operations natin na minus at plus. Again, as per order of operations, step number 4, we will solve them from left to right. Itong square root of 5, pariho yan sila. So, kopyahin mo lang si square root of 5. So, ngayon, focus lang kayo sa mga coefficients nito. 4 minus 9, and that is negative 5. Negative 5 plus, ilan yung i-plus natin? Ang coefficient dito, na walang nakasulat na numero, automatic, 1 yan siya. So, negative 5 plus 1, and that is negative 4. Kaya ang sagot dito, negative 4, square root of 5. Nasaan siya? Letter B, negative 4, square root of 5. Ma'am, paano naging yung negative 5 mo? Nag-add ka ng 1, paano naging negative 4? Hanapin nyo sa ating YouTube channel, yung unlike sign, isulat nyo lang yung lunalin, tapos unlike signs para sa pinaka-detalye tungkol dito. Simplihan natin, may utang kang lima, nagbabayad ka ng isa, apat na lang ang utang mo, utang negative 4. Next, number 5, what is the difference between itong, sulat nga natin si 6, x cube root of 3 and itong 2, x cube root of 3. Ang advantage dito, hindi tayo pinahirapan sa mga choices kasi sa mga choices, pariho yan lahat na merong x cube root of 3. x cube root of 3 ang nasa choices. Difference ang hinahanap, so i-minus mo lang si 6 minus 2 and that is Four. Kaya hanapin lang sa choices kung nasaan ba yung 4 na yan. Letter B. Number 6. Which of the following radical expressions is the simplified form of 5 square root of 6 plus 9 square root of 6 minus 8 square root of 6 plus 11 square root of 6? Lahat sa choices ay square root of 6. Itong square root of 6, kopyahin mo lang siya, pariho man sila lahat, so kopyahin mo lang siya. Parang ganun lang yan. 5a plus 9a minus 8a plus 11a, pariho lang yan siya, square root of 6. Ngayon, doon na tayo mag-focus sa mga coefficients niya. Total, pariho naman silang merong square root of 6. So, focus tayo sa 5 plus 9 minus 8 plus 11. Ang operations natin dito, meron tayong addition at subtraction. Always remember order of operations or kilala yung PEMDAS or GEMDAS or MDAS for short. Doon lang tayo mag-focus sa Addition and subtraction. Always remember, sa order of operation, step number four, nandyan si addition and subtraction. We have to solve them from left to right, whichever comes first. Now, kung gusto nyo yung detalye regarding sa order of operations, pwede nyo yung isulat ito, isearch nyo, lunalin, tapos order of operations kasi marami na tayong na-upload regarding dyan at mga examples. Now, dito na tayo sa ating 
5 plus 9 minus 8 plus 11. Nauna ang addition na nahin natin yan. So, this is 14. Ang next ay minus. So, mag-minus tayo. 14 minus 8 and this is 6. Next, mag-add tayo. So, 6 plus 11 and this is 17. Hanapin na lang sa choices ang merong 17. And that is letter D. Next, number 7. What is the result when 20 minus square root of 5 over 5 minus 2 square root of 5 is simplified down? In other words, paano kayang ma-rationalized itong mga ganitong dalawa yung terms dyan? So, again, if we have a fraction, kopyahin muna natin ito, 20 minus square root of 5. Tapos, ang nasa baba ay 5 minus 2 square root of 5. Meron tayong root dyan. Square root yan siya, yung radical sign na yan. Now, if we have a fraction with a root in the denominator, kasi yan yung denominator natin dyan sa baba, we manipulate this in such a way na yung denominator natin ay walang roots. To do this, we will multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same root. Paano kaya yung the same root? Obserbahan ang gagawin natin. Ang i-multiply natin dito, kasi kung i-multiply mo siya ng 5 negative 2 square root of 5, meron pa rin yung root na matitira dyan. Ang gagawin mo ay plus. Minus yan siya, plus. Makikita nyo mamaya. So, yan din ang i-multiply natin sa taas. 5 plus 2 square root of 5. Isa-isahin natin yan. Dito muna tayo sa 20 minus square root of 5 multiplied by 5 plus 2 square root of 5. Parang mag-multiply lang tayo ng binomial. Kung paano mag-multiply ng binomial, search new. Lunalin multi Multiply binomial. By wait, wrong spelling. Search nyo sa YouTube channel para makita nyo mga 3 to 4 ways of doing this. So, I search nyo yan. Now, square root of 5 times, negative square root of 5 times, times 2 square root of 5. So, this is negative 2. Tapos, i-multiply lang natin ng 5, pero dahan-dahanin natin. Kunin pa rin natin yung square root, pero yung nasa loob, yung mga radicands natin, i-multiply natin, and that is 25. Next, 20 times 2, and this is, so this is 40 square root of 5. 5 times negative square root of 5, this is negative 5 square root of 5. 20 times 5, that is 100. So, i-add na natin yan. Itong square root 25 natin, this is equal to 5. Square root of 25 equals 5. So, yan ang multiply natin sa negative 2. Negative 2 times 5, negative 10. 4 square root of 5 plus negative 5 square root of 5. And this is positive 35 square root of 5. At i-bring down si 100. Now, 100 minus 10, and that is 90. Sulat natin yung 90 dito. 90, at kopyahin lang yung plus 35 square root of 5. Next, dito tayo sa 5 minus 2 square root of 5, na i-multiply natin sa 5 plus 2 square root of 5. Negative 2 square root of 5 times 2 square root of 5, and this is negative 4 square root of 25. Pwede naman yung shortcut, square root of 25, and that is 5. So, i-multiply natin ng 5 si negative 4. Next, 5 times 2 square root of 5, that is 10 square root of 5. 5 times negative 2 square root of 5, and that is negative 10 square root of 5. 5 times 5, and that is 25. So, we add na natin yan. This one is negative 20. So, this is negative 20. Tapos, ito, 
positive 10 or 10 square root of 5 plus negative 10 square root of 5, mawala na yan. So, nawala na yung radical natin. At itong 25, bring down mo lang yan siya. So, 25 minus 20, and this is 5. So, itong 90 plus 35, sulat natin si 90 plus 35 square root of 5, yan yung product dito sa numerator natin. 90 plus 35 Square root of 5. Delete muna natin ito. Next, ito namang 5 sa kabila, yan naman yung product sa pag-multiply natin dito sa denominator natin. 5. Next natin gagawin, simplify pa natin to. 90 divided by 5, and that is 18. At yung plus sign, next, 35 divided by 5, and that is 7. At huwag kalimutan yung square root of 5. Hanapin sa choices, 18 plus 7 square root of 5. Letter A. Honestly, tired na ako at gutom, at gusto kong i-upload na rin itong hanggang sa 7. So, abangan na lang sa next na video. Akala ko kasi matatapos ko. So, abangan na lang sa next na video, itong number 8, number 9, at number 10. Mag-rest muna ako. So, see you on my next video. Thank you and God bless.